Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, we'll be getting out to the polls Tuesday, but our votes for great football today in Week 10 of the NFL on ESPN. We've got two teams each hoping for a landslide victory here in this one. Cincinnati, Washington, next! These fans have been tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Stevens, and greetings from Washington Field. Here with me in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dan. You better believe it can secure number one in their division with a win. And with these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. Whatever team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Tails of it. Morton Anderson kicking off for the There's Redskins. the signal, and we're it's ready. Time for Redskins football. Anderson kicks it, and we are underway. Williams catches it back at the one. Craig down at the 21. The weather is a factor, and ESPN's very own Susie Culber has some information for us. Susie. Thanks, Dan. It doesn't rain much harder than this, Dan. This deluge is turning the grass into mud, and the players' First cleats are turning it right up. This game looks like it could become half football, half mud wrestling. Guys. Thanks, Susie. We'll start this first play of the drive at their own 21 yard line. Johnson has his number called on first down and moves forward for seven. Rudy Johnson got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball at the Bengals, 28-yard line. Palmer throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped incomplete. That win came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down, three yards to go. throw that was off target there. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Well, Dan, the rain was a huge factor on that last play. I think without it, it would have been a catch. Larson lines up to punt after the three and out. <laughs> Larson gets the ball and punts it away. Springs gives the deep punt at the 27. Sean Springs is one of those wily old vets. Eight-year man out of Ohio State. He's been playing this game for a long time, and he knows it's not about luck. It's about skill. The Redskins offense will start this drive at their 34-yard line. Interception. Brought down Bing. at the 43. <sighs> Joseph is able to catch the ball in these rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. 
That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today. And that time, the D was the big winner. That's his fourth interception of the year, Peter. He has to be happy with that. Yep, but he's always oh, looking for it. more. The Bengals are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 43-yard line. Johnson takes the handoff and searches for a hole. Number 32, Stopped the at the carrier. 47. Number 21 with the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the Bengals, 47 yard line. It's caught at the 49, tackled at the 45. It first will be down first down. Chad Johnson had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation. And that's exactly what he did. Washington gets the sack at the 48. Marcus Washington comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the O-line, Dan? Did, did they just give up? Oh, that quarterback's going to be pointing up, fingers Jen. on that one. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front there, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Palmer, that is on the left side, and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 35. And this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Redskins stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 35-yard line. Cooley goes in motion. Ben takes it across the line and chews up about four on the play. Second down Second with the tight six. end right. Ball at the Redskins, 39 yard line. <laughs> We'll get stopped at the line, the and carrier. that will bring up third down. Brian Simmons with the tackle. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Third and six. Ball at the Redskins, 39-yard line. He's back, he's back, he's back. <laughs> he catches it left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Collins threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Cooley goes in motion. Bet gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, you can see the injuries that they've racked up this year. When you get hit like this, the training staff has to do their best to get those who are sidelined back in as soon as possible. But injuries are going to happen. There's just no way around it. Second down for the on. Eight. Ball at the 34-yard line. Number 99, Saxon back at the 36. Number 99 nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. 
Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice set. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. That will end the first quarter, the and it's still quarter. a scoreless game. Throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down Delta coming up. Delta, Delta O'Neill came in and got a hand on that football. Oh, left no chance for a reception there. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass, it still would have been short. Yes. You, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number four takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. James Fair catches it at the 13. The Bengals were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 14-yard line. Palmer rifles it out left side, and pass it is, is not reeled in. Incomplete. Mike Rump shut down that pass perfectly. You know when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. Potential for second some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Johnson bulldozes right of center, and Shoes up about four on the play. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Palmer unloads this one to the left, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. And touchdown! Touchdown, Redskins! John Taylor picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Peter Hill had a touchdown to his stats, and he has to be very happy with that. You bet. Big play, my friend. Now the extra point, and it's good. signal and we're set Anderson booms a beauty here Williams decides to take it out of the end zone breaks free tackled at the 20 Ricky Williams took it out of the end zone and while it may have been a little risky he gets out close to the 20 so it all comes out in the wash on that play the Bengals haven't got much out of their offense recently and we'll see if they can get back on track here this drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Johnson dodges this one way out right and shoots Number forward for nine yards. Adam Archuleta with the tackle. Second down, Second both the tight ends left. Ball at the Bengals, 29-yard line. <laughs> Gets the call again, and Nova gets back to the line of scrimmage. Adam Archuleta not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That's his second tackle so far. Johnson carries it for a third time in a row, and... 
know we stopped him. Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. We got the chains. Not even close. Not even close. No first, baby. No first. Larson lines up to punt after the three and out. Sean Springs to make the return. Larson takes the long snap and punts it away. Springs fields the punt at the 26. Tackled at the 36. Sean Springs did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Redskins have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 36-yard line. Jackson Passes makes a play on this and forces Dexter the Jackson incompletion. The Dexter Jackson swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second, second down. Ten. Ball at the Redskins, 36-yard line. <laughs> Collins fires this one over the middle, and it's intercepted. Interception. Brought down Bang. at the 49. <laughs> Number 40 gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Bengals' offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at the 49-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. <laughs> Incomplete. Sean Taylor came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second, Second down, two receivers to the left. Johnson is at the 35, 15, down chase down. down at the 11. That will bring up first down. Rudy Johnson gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 66 yards on eight carries. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Johnson goes in motion. Johnson loses out to the left side and gains about three yards. in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. A tough play. I love it. The Redskins are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> of the game and Ramble 
carries for about five. Brian Robinson with the tackle. Watch the counter. Watch Second the and five. Counter. Ball at the Redskins, 25-yard line. Foria goes in motion. in the game. Randall reels in the football, and that's good for six. Todd Collins made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Ball at the Redskins, 37-yard line. We'll get the carry on the second down and picks up the first down. Miguel Betts sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, one man down. The Redskins take their first time out. Second and nine. Ball at the Redskins, 46 yard line. Collins passes this one after the play action, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. The Redskins will talk it over, and they take their second timeout. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. O'Neal makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. And that'll do it for the That's first the half of, of this one. Quarter. The Redskins are out in front, seven to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, game. interesting game at the half get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats and boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Bengals should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 22 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself in a position to pick this one off. The Bengals midway through the first. The Bengals with the ball at the 49-yard line. Sean Taylor would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Skins, after getting an interception, Todd Collins would find his target on this one. The Bengals on defense, Sean Taylor would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Redskins. Bengals losing seven to nothing. Number 40 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bengals have it off an interception already in the red zone. Lamar Marshall is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Redskin coming up on the end of the half. Skins out in front by seven. Todd Collins would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins are the only ones on the board. Seven to nothing. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Sean Taylor has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. 
We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Redskins will receive to start the second half, and they Kicking currently off. enjoy a small lead, seven to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culver. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Marvin Lewis talked to us at the half, and I asked him whether he thought the weather was partly responsible for their turnovers in the first half. He told me, yes, it has made the ball tougher to grip, and we just have to make certain to avoid further turnovers. Number we'll see how they do. The ball Guys. Back Kenny to you. Mixon. Susie, okay, thank you. All the Redskins bring get their get offense on the field and, and will start like this drive at their own 19-yard line. Need to. Okay, fellas? Second down. Nine yards to go. Yard line. Foria goes in motion. <laughs> Simmons Ryan gets Simmons the sack the at sack. the 17. Brian Simmons got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Time to make a stand. Third and Let's 12. Ball at the Redskins, 17-yard line. <laughs> Bad catches the lob over the middle, and he will be well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. John Thornton made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second Number tackle four. so far. Number four lines up for the punt. Make the return. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. James catches it at the 39. The 41. Torrey James didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bengals send ten, their offense Cincinnati. out on the field and will start this drive at their 41-yard line. Johnson didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Chad Johnson was the intended receiver. Carson Palmer really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got five yards and three interceptions. Second and ten. Ball at the Bengals, 41-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Palmer zings it to the right side, and it's first caught at the 46. Bank. Finally stopped at the 39. It will be first down. First and 10. Ball at the 39. <laughs> Springs tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Sean Springs swatted that one away clean. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Palmer gets all of his arm into this pass, and they can't connect. Incomplete. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great play breaking up that pass attempt. And Dan, it's all in the genes, I guess. You know, I played against Sean Springs' pop in the early 80s, and he was a heck of a football player, too. Junior's made a pretty good name for himself, though, as a shutdown cornerback. Johnson goes in motion. Good. 
on that play without any help. Man, he had that zone locked down. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass... It still yeah, would have been short. Yeah, cool. you, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Larson lines up for the punt. Larson gets the snap and punts it away. Springs, fair catches it at the 13. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of action in this one overall, but even though they're in good shape, a single score can turn it around. They have to stay focused here. The Redskins offense takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll start at their own 14-yard line. Picks up about two, and the that will bring up second down. Brian Simmons with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the Redskins, 16-yard line. Collins just rifles this one, and it is incomplete. not reeled in. Number incomplete. Todd Collins receiver. for an incomplete pass into Number double coverage. He's cover. got to use better judgment out there. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. <laughs> They couldn't connect on this Passes one. Incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down Number coming up. Chris Cooley had receiver. some room on the fringes Teddy there, Dixon but couldn't reel the in the pass. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down there. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number four lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. James fields the punt at the 47. Brought down at the 44. Torrey James did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Bengals offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at the 44 yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Johnson gets the call on the first down and will lose about a yard here. Andre Carter was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up. That will bring up second down. Palmer throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Let's go back and revisit that last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. Dan, I lined up against Andre Carter's dad many a time back in the late 70s, early 80s. So I can tell you firsthand how difficult it can be to block a Carter. Andre's got a chance to be real special in this league. Third down, empty backfield. <laughs> Springs makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Sean Springs came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great lead there. Larson lines up to punt after the three and out. Larson takes the long snap and punts it away. Springs gets it at the 14. Drag down at the 16. Sean Springs fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Redskins have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 16-yard line. Moss 
didn't haul Passes that one in, in and it falls incomplete. Delta O'Neill stayed receiver. so close to his assignment Delta he could have taken his calls for him. <laughs> incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Watch that counter. Watch second, second down, defense. two tight ends in the Paul game. 16-yard line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mets will take the handoff and Eight takes it upfield. Stopped at the 20. Let's finish this Third and six. Ball at the Redskins, 20-yard line. This one will fall Passes incomplete. Complete. Fourth down coming Antoine up. Randall Antoine Randall L. Looked like he was in the perfect position back there to make the, the catch, but he just couldn't do it. He was wide open to boot. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down, and what a Under disappointment that would have given them the first. You've got to make those return. plays when they come your way. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. James peels the punt at the 37. Tackled at the 38. Torrey James got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. First and the Bengals ten. haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 38-yard line. Johnson picks up Number six 32. on the play, the and carrier. that will bring up second Lamar down. Marshall with the tackle. Second and four. Ball at the Bengals, 44-yard line. Marshall tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Lamar Marshall was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Watson makes a tough catch, and they convert on third down. Chad Johnson had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. And that'll do it for the third the quarter. The, the Redskins are out in front, seven to nothing. First down with the tight end right. Woody Johnson had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were second hoping for more. Ball at the 42-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Johnson catches it over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 28 yard line. Palmer throws a lob here and he connects at the 16 and he stopped right there. First down. Carson Palmer doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks throwing into double coverage like that and succeed. First down, one man back. Oh, 
Rodgers tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Nick Rodgers would have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Ball at the 15. Griffin gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's his fifth sack on the season, Peter. He can get in there. The numbers prove it. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. from 38 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Shane Graham sees his field goal attempt get waterlogged. There's the kick. And it's no good. Hard to be accurate when the football gets wet like that. The Redskins offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Number 40 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Receiver number 40 with the coverage. Todd Collins has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he struggled to get 51 yards and two interceptions. Second and 10. Ball at the Redskins, 29 yard line. Collins sings it to the right side, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Torrey James got himself in a prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down from the eye. And they get the first on third and long. Santana Moss does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Randall L. goes in motion. <laughs> Collins lobs this one way over the middle, and Passes it's knocked complete. away from the receiver <laughs> incomplete. The Number 40 receiver. closed in from the zone Number and forced the incompletion. The that had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second, Second down ten. coming up. Ball at the Redskins, 44-yard line. <laughs> Matt takes it for his 11th carry and will lose about a yard here. Number 51, not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Third down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. Rips 
him down in the backfield. The Bengals take their first time out. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Corey James to make the return. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. James takes it at the 19. Nickel at the 25. Tory James didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First the Bengals start this drive of the game from well in their own territory. And the clock at 1.48. <laughs> Chad Johnson got open on that Chad last Johnson play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. Another Marcus ball Washington comes his way, cover. and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Second down, and five wide receivers take the field. Springs makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sean Springs came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Third down. The clock is stopped at 142. Palmer dumps it out left and this one is incomplete. tell you what a stop on fourth down it's worth another look oh huge tackle huge play that was some aggressive play calling that deep in their own territory and it may have cost them dearly i just don't see how they were in four down mode there especially at their end of the football field that's a bad call the redskins offense takes the field and can they capitalize on the defensive stop well they'll start this drive at the 33 yard line Johnson goes in motion. That means the Bengals will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down with three receivers to the left. Ball at the 30 yard line. Larry, Larry, Larry. Single back. Single back. Gets the call on the Bengals. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Third down. The clock is stopped at 127. Betts gets the cross and runs into traffic. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. Number 99 will be credited with the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Well, Dan, they didn't get the first, but they did manage to stay in bounds. Looks like they're playing the time game, and they just won another 40 seconds. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number five, holding. They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, Dan. There's no reason for them to hurry the snap. Anderson with the 45-yard attempt and just makes it inside the left upright. Morton Anderson gets a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job in this nasty left. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson rockets this one deep. 
Williams decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled hard at the 18. Ricky Williams got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bengals will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 38. Washington catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Palmer spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, Second 10 down. yards to go. Ball at the Bengals, 34-yard line. The pass is in. Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Carson Palmer has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 91 yards and three interceptions. Third down, the clock is stopped at 20. Palmer uncorks this to the left sideline, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Ball at the 46-yard line. Palmer spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down. The clock is stopped at seven. Palmer throws this one way down over the middle and the catch is made at the 11 and he's stopped right there. Chad Johnson had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really That's had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. And that is going to do it for this one. The Redskins come out on top 10 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Redskins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Carson Palmer connected with his man on this one. Ball at their own 42. Carson Palmer connected with his man on this one. The Skins, after a missed field goal, Skins winning by seven. Todd Collins would find his target on this one. The Skins have it again. Morton Anderson is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. A 45-yard field goal. Skins leading 10 to nothing. Chad Johnson makes him pay. He's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins serve up a shutout, 10 to nothing. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game, the guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Sean Taylor is on the field with our Susie Calder. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big. An impressive performance in what turned into an impressive win. What gave you guys the edge today? I have to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. You know, the offense starts out with the foundation, and that's the offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring it every game. I think their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top today. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.